Today I'm going to teach you how to prevent and resolve low back pain while you're working out. Step one, you'll need a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball, anything about this size. The first step will be a little bit of self-massage to help release those lower back muscles. So the lower back muscles we'll be targeting are the erector spinae. They're on each side of the spine here. We're gonna take that ball right to that meaty area on each side of the spine as we lower down onto our back. So with the knees bent, the feet flat on the floor, you can lift the hips to get the ball underneath there and get it right on the muscle, the side of the spine. All right, there's maybe about uh, six to eight inches of that low back area that you can work with. And you can kind of roll around on that muscle, rolling up and down or lifting up and moving the ball up and down as well. Any of these areas that you find a lot of tenderness, uh, that it feels um, pretty sore and tender there, you would like to hang out there with the ball, just trying to relax into the ball, softening the muscle for about a minute. And then you can move on and try to seek out any other hot spots like that. So you can roll, so stay on one side of the spine uh, to start and move up and down and kind of roll side to side a little on each part of that muscle. Just don't roll directly over the spine. Try to, uh, you know, not roll over that bony part of the spine. Stay on the muscles on each side. We'll do that. Any hot spots that you find, we'll stay there for about a minute. Step two, we'll take a child's pose stretch to try to elongate those back muscles. So with your knees a little wider than the hips width, your feet can go together, bring your hips all the way back towards your heels. And then we're gonna reach the arms out overhead. So keeping the hips pulling to your heels and even a little bit of uh, tucking the tailbone under here to help round and stretch the spine, reach the fingertips far forward as you can, keep the hips pulling down to the ground. So you're lengthening and elongating the spine. And another option is even to walk the hands over to the side of the mat, right? Stretching more one side and then the other as well. That might feel good. Walk them both over, place the opposite hand, the one you're reaching across the body on top of the other, and then keep that arm straight. So you're really reaching away from the body. Keep the hip pin back to the heel. And you can hold each one of those positions for 30 seconds to a minute. Step three is we're going to activate the core muscles. So a lot of times what I see happen with people with lower back pain is their uh, either core muscles are too weak or they don't know how to properly activate the core muscles in order to help support the whole torso, right? So you got your, uh, you know, we core muscles we refer to them in the front, your rectus abdominis, maybe more, uh, apparent to your transverse abdominis. That, that's the one that really kind of helps stabilize here. But when those aren't activated properly, the lower back muscles kind of overwork and a lot of that weight gets dumped into the lower back. And that's why you're feeling that lower back tightness or, or pain after your workout. So this will get you more aware of the sensation and the feeling of being able to activate your core to help brace the whole torso. Um, and then you can translate that into your workouts as well. So for this one, lying on your back, kind of that same starting position or ha having your, your knees bent to start. And you can slightly lift the hips and tuck the tailbone under again, right? So you're really lengthening the back, right? Keeping the core muscles engaged. If you're still unsure, if you feel any space underneath the lower back, or you can even arch up to force space here, then I want you to try to press through your core and press the whole back flat onto the mat. So your whole back should really actively be pressing through the floor here. All right, from there, you can pick the knees up over the hips so that they're in a nice straight line. Your shins can be parallel to the ground. You'll notice this will be a lot easier to hold the core and the back pressing down into the mat. And then what we can do is extend one leg while keeping the core really engaged. The back and the hips shouldn't move at all here. So really just focusing on that bracing effect of the core. You can press it out and then bring it back in. 
you could do uh, 10 to 15 on one side and then go to the other. Or if you'd like to alternate back and forth, that's okay as well. But when you extend that leg out and that lever gets longer, it's really gonna want to pull the hips down and create this arching in the back. Your job is to keep the core engaged and tight so that your back stays flat on the mat. Cool, I'll show you a regression of this and a progression as well. So if that is too hard, as you extend one leg out, you're having trouble keeping the back flat on the mat, you can keep both, uh, keep both knees at this 90 degree angle and just put both of the heels down to tap the ground, keep the core nice and tight, and then lift those knees up, right? So the knees stay at a 90 degree angle, just tapping the heels down, and then lifting up while the back stays flat. That'll make it a little easier for you, and then you can progress to extending one leg straight out. And if you need a little more challenge, you can eventually progress to extending both legs out while keeping the back totally flat, the core engaged here, and then bring them both in, right? Keeping them hovering over the ground. All right, well, there you have it. The three exercises that will help to prevent and relieve back pain um, in that lower back area while you're doing your workouts. And then notice how the core feels while you're doing these, keeping the torso nice and stable. And think about that same activation as you're going through your workouts as well so that the core is working and not just dumping that weight into your lower back. Thank you for watching Cool Wellness on YouTube. Please consider subscribing by clicking on the subscribe button below.